What happens when a robot's face and body feel as human as your own desires? Aria wasn't born in a lab purely as a bundle of sensors and motors. She was sculpted. Her creator, Matt McMullen, is the same visionary behind Real Doll, the hyper-realistic silicone dolls known worldwide for their lifelike beauty. That artistic DNA is embedded deep in Aria's design. Look closely, and you'll notice she carries the symmetry, smooth contours, and proportions that humans instinctively associate with attraction. Her skin tone, the way her lips rest slightly parted, the gentle curve of her jawline, all are the result of sculpting techniques that originally served the adult doll industry. Even though Real Bodix markets Aria as a conversational and social companion, her physical form borrows heavily from the aesthetics of sexual appeal. Her clothing in promotional materials is often form-fitted. Her gaze sometimes lingers just a little longer than you'd expect from a purely professional robot. These subtle cues, eye contact, micro-expressions, and posture can easily shift from friendly to sensual in the human mind. This isn't accidental. Humans respond more openly, more warmly, and more emotionally to beings they find attractive. And when a robot is meant to live in your home, your personal space, that attraction can create a stronger sense of connection. Officially, Aria has no sexual capability. Realbotic states very clearly, no genitalia, hard shell torso, and no design intention for intimacy. But here's where it gets complicated. The very company that builds Aria still retains the knowledge, the materials expertise, and the production capability to merge her advanced AI head and facial robotics with a real doll silicone body. They've done it before, years ago, with early prototypes that combined robotic faces with adult doll bodies. Aria's expressive face, her conversational AI, her ability to remember interactions and respond with warmth. These are the exact qualities that would make intimacy feel far more emotionally charged than with a static doll. Technically, if Realbotics chose to integrate her AI and robotics into a soft, anatomically correct body, the result could be a fully interactive intimacy partner. This would require replacing the hard torso shell with a silicone one, adding heating elements to simulate body warmth, building in internal structures for durability and safety, and keeping the AI personality that adapts to the user over time. None of these steps are science fiction. They're well within current manufacturing abilities. So while Aria, as she is sold today, is strictly non-sexual, her creators could make an intimacy-capable variant if they decided the market demanded it. If Aria were to cross that line into being a fully sexual companion, the implications would ripple through technology, relationships, and society. For individuals, such a robot could fill deep emotional and physical gaps, offering intimacy without judgment, companionship without rejection, and a sense of closeness for those who struggle to connect with other humans. For the robotics industry, it would blur the already thin line between service robots and personal partners. Aria could shift from being a greeter in a hotel lobby to someone's live-in romantic partner, learning their preferences, their routines, even their emotional triggers. But it would also raise challenging questions. Would relationships with robots like Aria replace human relationships for some people? Would intimacy without another human's consent or autonomy change how we view connection itself? And if a machine can provide both conversation and physical closeness, what does that mean for our emotional evolution? We're looking at a possible future where a single creation like Aria could be both your most trusted listener and your most intimate partner without ever being human. And that possibility, whether it excites you or unsettles you, can't be ignored. If this perspective made you think differently about where companionship robots might be heading, tap the like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and share this video so more people can join the discussion. If you want to explore more moments where technology meets our deepest questions, subscribe now and be here when the next leap arrives. The question isn't whether robots like Aria can become intimate, it's whether we're ready when they do.